Boom, there it is. Rogues and Royals have made me this bout and they've put an extra stud in there to give it a bit more strength and uh, made it extra long so that I can use it as a deer carry bout and this is the first deer I've had a crack on so hopefully she goes good, I reckon it will. Grab his diddle first and I'll cut along into his diddle. See I'll put a little slit there mm -hmm. and then I'll just pull that to the side and get my knife and just try to cut down there without actually bursting his guts. One thing you can do is put your fingers in there and hold his, the guts back away with your fingers, try not to cut it. And another way is to just put the tip of the knife just in there so it's only just going through. And now I've gone there, I'm going to spin around. And I've actually put my hands in there and I'll see I've made a gap with my fingers. Mm -hmm. Now I know I'm not going to cut the guts, see my fingers are holding the guts away from the skin. Mm -hmm. you just got to be careful not to cut your fingers when you do this with a knife. So just be worried, really aware of where your knife is. I'll slowly go up there, go a little bit further, a little bit further, and then just up to where his ribcage starts, which is about there. And then I'll roll that out a little bit just to get it out of the way. And now what I want to do, you see how it's still connected here? Mm -hmm. Still connected to his backbone. Yeah, but where's the liver? There's his liver right there, see oh, that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually, I want to leave his liver in there. So I'm going to pull that guts just away, but I have to cut. The guts is attached, see it's attached there and here to the liver. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to cut that through just a little bit, just to cut it off the liver. And then the other bit of the guts, because I want to leave the liver in there, that's attached to, see the liver's attached to the diaphragm, <laughs> which is the flapper muscle. See there's that flapper muscle there? Mm -hmm. That muscle comes all the way. You've got one too, it stops you heart and lungs from meeting your guts. So it's basically a flap of skin. See that's it there? It goes all the mm -hmm. way across and his liver's attached to that. So if I put that knife through there and I just cut that away from where it meets the liver then I can get the guts out and one hit and leave the liver in there still. See that? Mm -hmm. And then there's just one little flap of skin to cut through. That little bit of grass there is just where his um, throat comes down to meet his guts. And there's his poo tube, so I'll scoop all that poo in towards his guts there. And then I'll cut that off and I'll actually tie that in a knot. So none of his poo squeezes back out into the deer. There we go. And I'll just slide all his guts away out of the way there. Now his liver's still attached. And he's got his heart and his lungs in there. I'm going to use this new belt that I've got to carry him out. So I'll hock him. Slip through there. Just because it reminds me of celery. Bone snapping reminds you of celery. Yeah, it reminds me of the sound when I crunch it. The crunch. When I snap it. Well, I'll slip through there. <laughs> so for those of you fellas and fellas that aren't familiar with this, it's a real good way to carry deer out. It distributes the weight evenly across your shoulders and most of the weight's on your bum. So my, uh, my back isn't really uncomfortable, I'm not pinching off any blood supply, it's a real good way to carry a deer out. And I'll put the link for this belt below so you can order one if you want. Want to carry my bag Sonny? Oh, your bag, was it? Over here. Right. Sonny, it might be about time for you to shoot a deer, eh? Next time we go out, I'll bring the 223. <laughs>